Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to another Let's Play episode of Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. So, I left it on a little bit of a cliffhanger on the last episode. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Let's go to Kirito's room and talk to his friends. So, I assume we need to go back outside. Where would you like to go? Kirito's room. Okay, we can just access that straight from our room, which is pretty handy. I like that. So hopefully this is going to initiate our first real quest, guys. That would be awesome. Because we've only had the tutorial stuff so far. He should be around. He invited us here. That would be so rude. <laughs> well, everybody's here. Except there are some people missing, like Straya, Philia, Argo, etc. Where's all the chairs? Everyone's just standing up. Yeah. I wonder if we're gonna have like um you know, Agil having a cafe like he normally does, and Liz having her own shop. That would be cool. It's not an SAO game without Agil having a cafe or Liz having her own blacksmith shop. <laughs> I love her outfit, I keep saying it, but I really do. Now, is it me, or is her pink hair not as vibrant in this game? It looks kind of more dulled. But I do quite like it, though. Yeah, she's still smithing! Yeah, I like it. Hmm. <laughs> She's firm but fair. In more ways than one. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> Leafa's boobs. I mean, Leafa. <laughs> there is actually a head attached to those boobs, by the way. <laughs> I feel like her cleavage gets more and more revealing in every single game. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing Straya's boobs, guys. Because I feel like in the last game, Leafa's boobs looked bigger than Straya's boobs. I like how we can all have chats about boobs on my channel. <laughs> At least Pina doesn't look anorexic in this game. <laughs> Pina was looking very shabby in uh, more recent games. Oh, Pina! I was actually expecting Pina to look different in this game. I don't know why, but I was expecting like a robotic Pina or something. Robo Drago! <laughs> Pina is part of her family. I mean, Pina's been with Shulika in every single game. She's not going to let go of Pina. Pina是在参加的人たちが多くて。わかるぜ。リアルマネーが関わってくるとコストについてもシビアになるよな。<笑> <laughs> Maybe I should skip lunch to buy this ammo. So, speaking about spending money in games, guys, real life money, do you guys spend a lot of money in any games that you play in real life? Let me know. I mean, 
I have spent money on games before when it comes to like costumes and the odd DLC uh, expansions if I think they're worth it and stuff but I couldn't see myself spending like hundreds and hundreds of pounds in any game really. Maybe Monster Hunter. <laughs> Maybe Monster Hunter. That's that's the only exception, guys. <laughs> but then again, if it was a full dive game like this, it feels real. So I suppose I would be more inclined to spend my real life money on it. I've just watched the new Blade Runner film recently and that's just reminding me of that. Real pets are expensive. <laughs> Is it real? Why don't you ask it? <laughs> Probably because it was so anorexic before. Which one was it, guys? Was it Axel World versus Sword Art Online where Pina looked really, really shabby and anorexic? Or was it the game before that? Oh, it was awful, though. The way they drew Pina, she just looked skin and bone. I was like, for the love of God, someone feed Pina. Please, just feed Pina. <laughs> she looks like she's going to die at any second. Which would just be sad, because I really like Pina. Pina... Pina's always hungry. If there's not an event in this game where we feed Pina, I will be angry. I feel like that's a game tradition. I'll cover the cost of Pina's food. Oh good, because yeah, why would I pay to feed your pet? <laughs> Nice meeting you. Good luck out there. Nice meeting you. Then again, I probably would offer to pay for someone else's pet food if they were my friend. And we spent a lot of time together. Because I would fall in love with their pet anyway. <laughs> Especially Pina. Come on now. Shinon, Sniper Master. I love this outfit so much. She, she kind of reminds me of like a mermaid or something in this outfit. Maybe it's because the darker blue section is, it kind of looks like scales in a way, but very small scales. It's got like a shimmery look vibe. So she reminds me of like an, an undying, a mermaid, a siren, you know, something like that. A siren as in, you know, cause sirens, there's like two types of sirens, isn't there? There's like the flying singing ones and then there's like sirens of the sea as well. <laughs> Well, at least from the deviant art uh, pictures I've seen, there's like sea sirens. Wasn't there a siren in uh, one of the Final Fantasy games that was portrayed as kind of like a mermaid? That just shows how skilled she is. かわいい。こんな小さいアバターあるんだ。150センチくらいの女性型アバターがあるとは聞いていたけど。こんにちは。ゆいです。この前、パパとママと戦った方たちですね。And now we're friends. パパ。ああ。ゆいは俺とアスナの子供なんだ。that's a weird way to say that. Yui is Asuna's daughter and mine as well. Why didn't he just say Yui is Asuna and my daughter? Or yes, we are Yui's parents. Me, me and Asuna are Yui's parents. Like, that's a weird way to structure that sentence. You and Asuna are married. You're old enough to have, do have a daughter. <laughs> Let's just go with the married one. Are they married in this game though? Or are we going to get another event to marry them again? Because I love those events. They're so lovely. I'm not old enough to be called Mr. yet. So, <laughs> Yui 
That's quite cool that they've trusted us enough to tell us that. あ、人間のように見えるけど、アパシスと同じ AI なんだ。ステータスを見る限り、GGOのプレイヤーと全く同じみたいだけど。GGOに連れて行くために、アカウントを取ったんだよ。ちゃんと月々の接続料も払って
This is just painful. Ouch, Klein. Ouch. You're as cold as ice. Ice, ice, baby. Right, so it looks like we're slowly gonna get introduced to the other characters like Philia, Straya, etc. Rain. Privyet! <laughs> Seven. Skodron's wouldn't it still just be easier to have a squadron, though? Are you all friends in real life, too? You guys must be really close. Let's go with the are you all friends in real life, too. Well, I've <laughs> Are you going to talk about the death game, Kirito? だから、ガンゲーの。Yep. Isn't it supposed to be like a support weapon and no one really uses it? Like Kirito is the main person that uses it in the game. だって使っているさ。サブウェポンだけど。はい、はい。それよりまだ本題を言ってないよ、キリト君。まあ、そうだった。君は totally, totally. I, I am so interested in the photon sword, though. Oh, sweet, okay. Quest to clear! And we got 3,000 credits for that. Oh, he's gonna show us the back alleys, guys. <laughs> you can show me your back alley anytime, boy! Oh, sorry. I any weird shops. Is there going to be any lingerie shops in this game? <laughs> Remember those events? From the previous games, lingerie shopping. Since not a lot of girls play this game, I don't think there's going to be lingerie shops, sadly. Not unless there's speedo shops for the boys. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Gambling is bad, okay. I wonder if the tournaments are like optional in this game or if there's any of them that are part of the story. I mean, we had that one at the beginning, but that was like a tutorial thing. The SBC Glocken! A formal outfit once worn by female military officers in the space fleet on special occasions. Formal uniform F. Oh, there's no time to read that. Whoa, that skipped. Kono soto kutewa. Quest no juju ga dekiru. Quest order terminal ya. Field ni ido dekiru. Tenso gate ga setsu sareteiru. Ima made ukezuke wa 
ターミナル相手で弾けなかったんだけど大型アップデート以降はアバシスが配置されるようになったんだ。あ、スイー会話できるアバシスが入ったおかげで、使用の確認はしやすくなったよ。じゃあ、まずは、あそこにある受付では、共闘クエストを受けることができるんだ。パーティーを組んで、強敵と戦うクエストなんかがあるな。I might need to level up some first. Strong enemies? Yeah, level up. <laughs> そんなに緊張するなって。俺でよければ一緒に行くから。よかったらパーティーに誘ってくれ。あっちのターミナルではクエストの受注もできるし、武器や弾薬を購入することもできるな。俺は貢献使いだからあまり困ったことはないけど、玉切れには気をつけろよ。あのアファシスに話しかけると、自分の賞金ランキングを教えてくれる。探索フィールドに出てバトルをすると、成果に応じて、賞金がもらえるんだ。Right, so your ranking is just recalculated based on your performance from quests. Cool. 賞金は、SBC グロッケンに戻るときに生産されるからな。賞金ランキングを上げると、いろいろと得点があるらしいな。モンスターを倒したり、アイテムを取得したら、積極的に話しかけてみろよ。積極的にって言っても普通に話しかければいいからなクラインみたいに口説きにかかる必要はない<笑> I did I heard Klein's name and I was like right okay I don't mean you need to hit on, on her like Klein <laughs> don't be a lech basically you can hit on the units I doubt Klein's gonna get anywhere with that <laughs> <laughs> 俺の仲間も同じことを言ってたよでもクラインのことだもしかしたら何か起こるかもしれないぜ。Anything could happen. 総督府の基本的な機能はこんなところかな。クエストはどんどんやっていって損はないよ。もうちょうどシノンたちが来ているな。シノンたちにも声をかけてみてくれないかいろいろ質問をしてくれれば喜ぶと思うよ。みんな君のために準備していたんだ。Online co op quests. You can accept online co op quests by talking to the, the receptionist NPC in the governor's office lobby. Up to four players can team up to fight strong enemies in these quests together with their own r f a s units for a total of eight party members. r f a s units can be turned on or off in the options menu before starting an online co op quest. If there are fewer than four human players present, NPCs can also be used to fill in the ranks. You can also play online co op quests by yourself with seven NPCs. Oh, that's cool. So you can completely play it offline, technically, then. Online PvP quests. You can accept online PvP quests by talking to the receptionist NPC in the governor's office lobby. In these quests, two teams of four players each compete to inflict the most damage on a boss. As you complete PvP matches, you will receive medals and your rank will increase or decrease according to whether you win or lose. Fight hard and prove who the best player is in all of GGO. That will be me! Bounty system and bounty rankings. As you defeat enemies out on the field and acquire items, you'll earn bounties when you return to the SBC Glocken. You'll also level up when you earn a set amount of experience points. Your total income from bounties is included as part of your ranking and can be checked at any time by talking to the r f a s in the governor's office lobby. May fortune smile upon you as you climb your way to the top. Sweet! I wondered what was going on then. Right, okay. Well, let me just go over here and、um, check the items, basically. Probably still can't afford anything. I've got 23,875 credits in the top right.、Um, Yeah, I'm way short to get the photon sword. So it's free strength and one dex for that sword. Right, okay.、Um, triple burst, handgun bullets. So 
So I'm not dead au fait with guns, but I'm assuming these ones here with this symbol on the left are like SMGs with more of a spread, right? I don't know. They look like shotguns, that looks like a type of rifle, then we've got a sniper rifle, then we've got machine type gun, rocket launcher. Um, so I would say like guns wise, the ones that I would probably end up using are the handguns and these. Right, so let's have a look. Um, fire is full auto. Handgun bullets is the ammunition. Uh, right, okay. Accuracy, C+, plus, that's B. And then we've got equipment as well. And jackets and stuff. I think I will stick to the weapon I've got at the moment for now. Because, as I said in an earlier episode, I just want to play around and see what's what, basically. So, the next target is talk to Klein, Straya, Philia, Yuki, and Rain. So, we've already met Klein, but it looks like he has something new to say. And we're going to get to meet Straya, Philia, Yuki, and Rain on the next episode, guys! Yay! I'm actually really excited to see how Straya, Philia, Yuki, and Rain look in this game. Um, I have tried to avoid, like, spoilers as much as I can. Obviously, I briefly looked through that art book, but I can't even remember if they were even in there and what they look like, so I'm excited still. But anyways, guys, don't forget to slam the thumbs up button. This is a pre-record series, so views, likes, comments, favourites, shares, subscribers, and the extra support through the links in the video description are very important to keep this series flowing on the channel, guys. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Take it easy, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye!